Hey there and welcome. My name is Carlos Berlis and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here, unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra. And all the links, they'll be in the description together with some timestamps to the point of your preference. And we start with The Creature by Armanda a creator from RPG Latam, the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. It is a solo journaling tabletop RPG about being and knowing yourself. In it, you were created by someone else but abandoned and you know nothing about yourself and the world. The art in it is by the amazing Perplexing Ruins, while the editing was done by Hippolyta, another creator from RPG Latam. As you can imagine, the game is heavily inspired by Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and it looks great with this idea of trying to figure out yourself and also knowing more about the world because you were abandoned without no instructions of how the world works and what else is out there. We also had the release of Island of Inheritance by Shan F. Smith. It is a 19 hex island location and campaign for that original 1974 game, you know the one that I'm talking about, probably you heard about it. In Island of Inheritance, you have inherited an island, but you only get it if you first stay there for a month. Oh, you can also get this title for free, provided you sign up for Shen F. Smith Hex Atlas newsletter. It seems like a fair trade, I would say, like you get a game for free, you sign up for the newsletter and you get new information with the newsletter as well. So, And if you look at the quotes about the title, they are amazing on each. They may easily convince you to try and check this one out. And this year, once again, we have the IGDN Diversity Sponsorship. Right now, there is a crowdfunding campaign for the 2022 edition. If you are not yet familiar with the IGDN Diversity Sponsorship, it is a scholarship to enable diverse game designers to attend Metatopia, the game design conference, if you don't know it also. As this year, like the last one, Metatopia will be 100% online due to COVID. The funds gathered during the crowdfunding will go directly to projects of the recipients of the sponsorship and divided equally among all the recipients. So if you have some bucks to spare, you can contribute to this amazing cause. On articles and threads, I bring to your attention this interesting read by Lucas Rulim. What if old school gaming is just a personal perspective? Here comes mine. This is the title. In it, Lucas tells his story coming into tabletop RPGs and how old school can be different things coming from different backgrounds. For instance, the Global South generally didn't have the same original translated titles than the Global North, and as Lucas is from Brazil, so also from RPG Latam, you can see that it can shape a little bit how we saw things. It is an interesting read, at least to give you a bit more perspective in how it can shape play, shape experience, and how people actually relate to the titles and the games that, that were already out. On Gems, we have the Dash Jam, where the idea is for you to hack Charge, or more precisely actually, to use the Dash SRD to create your game. Charge is a rule light fiction focus system that was inspired by Forged in the Dark and has already been hacked a ton, as it was deemed by Dicebreaker as one of the best tabletop RPG systems to hack. I guess this article went out like the end of last, last year or the middle of this one. Uh, what is time actually? <laughs> but uh, the gem page also provides more resources as the links for the SRD itself, the license, something that you really need, and all of this jazz. So you can, you should check the gem page. And also, if you're not submitting anything, as I always say, you can check it out to see more ideas of games with some stuff that you like and games that have something in common. So they can either inspire you or that you can get a game for you to play. So you have up until October 1st to submit something. So you still have plenty of time. You have all the end of this month. So this is a good way to try and submit a game. And even if you haven't ever created a game, this one can be a good way to start. Okay. There is also an idea for if you want to submit some games that were already designed, but then you have to contact uh, Sean, uh, the, the creator itself and 
it's on the gem page as well so just go there and check it out for today i believe that's it if you like the video like the damn video share subscribe you know how internet works let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series what you are disliking it it's getting a little bit uh, shorter the formats because my life is a little bit hectic like now right now but uh we are still bringing some news you can pay me a coffee and coffee you can buy my games on itch.io if you want and i will see you all in my next video so see ya